Uh, let me get it. Okay, now I got it on in the background. Now I got it ready to cue. Uh, you want to count it down? Sure. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, right. It's loading. That's it. Oh, it's loading? Yeah, it's, it's going. Zone G. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we are. Here we are uh, in I think I'm... the Ku Temple basement. Uh, guys, guys. The manager. We were sleeping under plastic. Underneath uh, some strange uh, melanympha clothing, she was a seamstress. And we just kind of were going through her junk in the basement there at the Ku Temple. Um, looks like we're trying to get ourselves ready because it's time to go. Uh, look, ex- exceptionally sleepy there. Um, it was sleepy that day. You were probably up all night writing this scene. And I look really high, and uh, you're sweaty and. You look- <laughs> You look both, re- uh, yeah, relaxed and resistant. Whose hand did I just lick there? Um, I forget. Um, I'm assuming. I believe that was the manager's the hand. Manager's hand. Oh, I'm showing a a whoopee cushion. If you can't tell, and I'm, Which is, I'm excited about I, the whoopee cushion. That, that that was our big idea for the show. Yeah, it was. That was what was going to save the day. And we had the gloves and some other components. And, mo- mo- and the manager grew some extra hands. Yeah, mo- Melaninfa, like, that was a really hidden talent of hers to have several arms come out all at once like that. And here we are, looks like we're going outside, but we're actually going inside. So it's a little I, Is strange. That packing peanuts that you, that you dumped on me there? Yeah, I think so. And uh, I think we're getting ready to do a show, right? We're we're going to do our show so that the manager will be happy. But we're out in the some, uh, backyard of the Ku Temple, crawling around. And I love this part where it's the introduction. It's so Tickler Twins. Rick and Rick Tickler. So here it is. This is the big show. This is our big chance. Yeah, this is... At the uh, big shot at the limelight. Yeah, this was at Um, Lemons in uh, St. Louis on Gravelois, where it doesn't even exist anymore. And uh, we kind of just sprung this. This was not properly booked. No. Either. No, we... uh, We were kind of busking at that point. (laughs) I think it was a show I was doing with the old band Scarecrow Radio, and, like, uh, we kind of just did this i told them like we're gonna just do something first and they're like a little you know hesitant about it you know chismo. they like to do things by the books and we were just like well no we, we're gonna be the tickler twins and uh, you can see lee there in disbelief and some other characters and I like. Oh, there's a the plastic bag because the whoopee cushion failed. Yeah, the whoopee. That's, <laughs> our main prop. It's not a good sign. Even work. And now an audience member, one of the hecklers, was attacking me there. They thought it was part stole of the his show. Hat. I actually stole his hat. I think I walked away with it <laughs> blindly. I just kind of put it on my head and walked away. I wasn't. And we did our show. I was show. just concerned now, now, about the big show. Now we're groveling we're back to the manager, and the manager's livid. It looks like we're getting fired. Like she, she's very good at yelling. We're bru- yeah, uh, <laughs> we're. I love that shot of you there, <laughs> going into the, it looks so the blue sad. light, just <laughs> forsaken, <laughs> banished, <laughs> really bummed out. It might be drooling. That even. was the that was the uh, storm door uh, uh, staircase. Oh. That, I guess it's the perfect time of day. We're backing up in the storm drain. Oh, we're in There's food land. Which I think this... Bad case of the blues. Yeah, we're really bummed out. Look at us. We're looking down, obviously. A lot of empty sets. Just empty parking lots and stores. And we're all depressed. And here we are near... Uh, I believe that's uh, 44 behind us. And... Uh, we're bickering. You threw the whoopee cushion down. We're spitting on it. We're, we're burying, burying it. it. Yeah, we're not very happy with we're the just, whoopee cushion. It failed us. Made us. You're throwing wood chips on me. <laughs> we got fired by the manager. 
Yeah. Uh, we have nothing to live for, you know, so we're... But now we look happy there. Oh, because I found, we a, found noose a noose down my shirt. <laughs> a double noose, right? A double noose so that, you know, we can both, like, uh, commit suicide at the same time using each other's weight. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind we're, of the idea. We're pretty close to Anheuser Busch at this point, right? Yeah, this we're like close the road from Anheuser Busch to the brewery. Yes, we are very close to it. So you know, I don't know what people probably were driving too fast to see what was what we were doing, but 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 we see that there's a tree, and, and we can hang term. ourselves from the tree, you know, and uh, so like doing it. Now, see, now we're really we're gonna do it now. We're gonna. <laughs> I'm really happy now. <laughs> like, I'm showing you. This almost has a feel of like a vampire zombie movie. I would say. <laughs> I liked how I think we we showed each other what we're gonna look like when we're choking, and then we actually start choking. <laughs> and we're choking. We're there. almost childlike in our our constant delight at discovering things. The double news. The at this point, you've found a cyst on the cyst tree yeah, a cyst. and we've decided that we'll touch it we've kind of given up on hanging ourselves and everything changes we're suddenly going through a portal of dimension oh that's it's so really vile. the alice in wonderland moment oh i don't know what that was there's zach of zach m I, fame yeah i don't remember at all but was in his mouth and what so there's it is Man. This other realm where we're given a drink. Yeah, we're giving this special potion, I think, that's supposed to make us get under the control of... What was Zack's character called? Uh, Tomb. Tomb, yeah. he's, yeah. Which was a, a, a character in some of our uh, realm plays that we did on some of our recordings. And isn't that Their right? fingers look amazing there. Oh, yeah, those fingers look really nice, the way the video camera... Uh, captured it. Now you're, you're you're puking up whatever we're drinking, and Zach looks extremely thrilled. And there's Roxy, or Moxie, Moxie, sorry, Moxie. And I guess she kind of yeah, hovers yeah. over all all this, which is also played by Melon Nympha. So she was a manager, and now she becomes our. I don't know. Is she a nemesis or? Uh, it's. I guess it gets kind of fusing. In about four minutes into the movie, from here, you you kind of fall in love with. It. But it's 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 like one of those. Um, maybe it's like a Stockholm syndrome thing. I think is what's going on. <laughs> like this is our initiation into this world. Yes, I think we're getting and acclimated. At this point, we're we're dead now. Oh, that scene! We're, we're this scene is awesome. Dead. I love this scene of backward Zach movements. And Moxie yeah, he's in the a good background. dancer. And there's uh, Umbilicus lying on the Umbilicus. floor. And I guess Tristan is somebody. somewhere in the foreground. Oh, this is a great there's scene. There's the sheet in the corner. We're like so puppets. Now we're the living dead. Yeah, we're puppets now for Tomb to kind of control our, our movements right here. He's having us move around. We go through a lot of changes in this movie. Almost like every 10 seconds. Yeah, it seems like we're kind of schizophrenic in a, a lot of ways but it looks like it seems like we keep that same childlike innocence though like oh no we're just kind of going along so for the this ride is like, <laughs> look we're gonna be dragged here. into something i think they're gonna be dragged into a box into a box <laughs> it's global distance earth oh. division or our band name becomes some sort of like corporate uh, Death Star like oh, now here we are oppressor of the galaxy I guess we're, now it's cold we're in the cold box. in the box and we're carrying <laughs> ourselves into a hatchback yes and those are I guess some the the, the logistics uh, they're delivering the goods that Tom and T Tom and Moxie <laughs> the, now here's the, the 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 ship is taking off. Yeah, this is a spaceship. Uh, and, and a repurposed abandoned car wash as a sort of portal spaceship launch. Which I think was on Jefferson. And now it's hot in the box. Yeah, we're really hot, and we're starting to burn, and we're freaking out. And, we, and here we go, take and off. We've already, and you say yeah. goodbye, and then. 
<laughs> and then we're this freaking... This is my, my... I think you look great in this scene. Oh, it's the lighting. We, 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 we're, we're burning in blue, because, you know, the blue flame is usually the hottest, right? And we're just... Because, you know, we're in the rocket ship, right? You know, we're in the back of the rocket, so we're burning alive. We're in space or some kind of realm. I love this scene. It sort of gets... It's just so horrific. Yeah, it does have a sort of... Are we actually in the box? comedy horror. No, we were, I think, back at the stairs again. Oh. I think that was shot at those same attic stairs. <laughs> and here we are. We come out of the box. And not attic. Some weird apartment complex on uh, Cherokee Street, I believe, where... Which is a... Is is supposed to be the inside of the interior of the ship. That's right. Yeah, we're still in the ship right now. That hatchback. <laughs> and we've we've died. We're living dead. We're we're like zombies at this point. We are zombies. And here's Kevin Harris. And now we found the command <laughs> center. And this is the pilot and the 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 operator of the spaceship that. And we're just creating a nuisance. <laughs> we're bugging him. We're like, we need the control of the ship now. We we want to go where we want to go, right? Because somehow we know <laughs> we can control the ship somehow. But we, we take matters like in our play. own hands and kill him, I think. You know, we sabotage, you know, and we eat him. Don't we eat him? Way. We need nourishment, right? Yeah. You know, we, playfully we've been through a lot, you know? Now we're just goofing off with the controls. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. And those are like all of Kevin's... Murdered uh, the, the poor captain like five seconds. Now we're just goofing off. <laughs> Here we go, we, landing. I guess we crash the <sighs> ship. <laughs> we crash. This is the best scene. Oh. This is my favorite. Oh, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> Your hair looks amazing. Oh, thank you. I was a much younger man those days. A lot less gray hair. You still got the long hair, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I still look very much like that, but many, at least, I don't know, this was 2012, uh, eight years ago. Yeah. We're both young men. <laughs> now, I love this scene around the uh, riverfront, uh, the Mississippi River, kind of down by where the barrier yeah. is. And this, yeah. Look at that beautiful <laughs> port. <laughs> and this, That's a great discovery and too. this. And this, I, for, for years later, every time I would be doing something, cleaning up my basement or whatever, I would be like throw things and I would just go, and this, and this, and this. I feel like this is, this is how a five-year-old sees the world, but here, you know, we kind of. You're right. You're right. I yeah. never really thought about us being children, but I guess we are kind of children. Like Moxie's like it's a maternal figure. It's a children's figure. story. There's some horrific elements in this, I suppose, but it's almost a children's story. I like it here. We're back at the highway. Like none of this has even happened, and then we run back to the tree, and then suddenly we're back in our reality again, the altered reality. Yep, and then we're and this. back throwing <laughs> things around. <laughs> It's like, our, it's a paradox. We're just reliving the same thing over and over again. And Moxie has control over us somehow. This is the point where you're, you're I guess you were victimized by this whole Tomb and Moxie initiation. But now you're, you're seeking her. I'm trying to figure it out. The... <laughs> <laughs> I love that build, that boarded up uh, warehouse in the background. Oh, it's yeah, it's beautiful. I don't even know if that's even there anymore. I think they tore that down. Oh, this There's is a, a nice big scene playground. on the pile of rock. We find a fruit, like a cyst, right? Another cyst. And then you turn and into a I horse. Turn into a horse. Like, suddenly you're a horse. And I'm I'm in despair because my... my, my Tickler twin is gone. It's been replaced by this wooden horse thing, which... Did you build that? Now you're elated. <laughs> <laughs> now you're determined and elated. And it's... Riding off into the sunset. That's that the western shot. This is where you're really gonna find Moxie and, and this is the chival... Sh uh, chival... Uh, <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> I can't... I don't know why chivalry. I can't say that word, but... Is it chivalry? Yeah. And it's my stud, yeah, and I'm and there you are in your... riding it all over 
riding through the aban- these abandoned Pl- parking lots in St. Louis and, and storage warehouses, mainly up Gravoy. Yeah, it's around Gravoy, and I think we did some of this on Jefferson. <laughs> I love. I just loved all the color of those abandoned used lots, and there's another uh, boarded up warehouse. It's just amazing. Oh, this scene. is, and then we feature some um, some pretty cool graffiti there. I liked. To get that in there. Yeah, that was There's on the, the green side of El Lenador, I believe. Oh, yep. Yeah, I love these scenes. It, it was hard to do that after a while. I got really tired. But you wouldn't know that. I would feel very determined. You look very, you look very resolute there. <laughs> it was a thrill. Still bloody from the from dying. Oh, and here we are at the side of uh, the Momo Zone. And you die. No, the horse is dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> and then it turns into a sack. Now it's a sack. And I touch it. I touch it again. Look at that nice breeze blowing that day. Oh, it was a nice looks, day. It's ha- nice. We have little Quimby underneath there. Little. Yeah, I, this. Six year old kid. A... <laughs> <laughs> Potato. Uh oh. Looks like a turd, but. It's a potato. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, it's, I think it's in a, in a, a bathtub. It does have a sort of scatological aspect to it, the, tur- the, the potato in the bathtub. I love that six-year-old is going uh, off the script. I already got that. I'm trying to break instinct. the potato in two, and I can't do it. It's the Rocky Balboa scene. Oh, yes. Yeah, around the She's training you. In Forest Park. In a way, once you do reach Moxie... You can show her that you can break a potato. Because that's my initiation. And really impress her. Here we are, running around Forest Park. I think I'm in front of the <laughs> art museum. This is museum. a good uh, daddy-daughter day. Daddy-daughter like day. Oh, yeah. We had a really good time. Oh, getting meditative. You're meditating? Yeah. <laughs> running around a tree. Running around the tree. <laughs> Me trying to break the potato, and she's just showing how to do it. Like, she can break it. She's already broken. Yeah. Throw it in potatoes at St. Francis there. Uh, Jumping down into an empty fountain. <laughs> that was a really great day. That was a really... Uh, looked like a monster. I mean, trying to cut, break it in two. Looking kind of strangely like George Harrison. <laughs> With fake blood all over your face. She's holding the potato. You broke up it. And, and I guess actually breaking it is. A, I'm not sure if that means you get access to Zone G at this point, or that means you're ready I'm going to into enter. The, enter but the this tool is box. Like, yeah. You're now entering Zone the final G. stage in this realm, and now you're on this date, this very like uh, extravagant date here. I guess this is um, supposed to be the actual uh, Zone G, right? Yeah, yeah. This is. I, yeah, yeah. Moxie's this is layer. Zone G now, and uh, she's got all kinds of uh, exotic fruits from around the world. And <laughs> I remember you brought those over. I think you spent fifty dollars on fruit. That that was most. <laughs> oh no! Oh man, I hate getting sprayed with water. That was those were real reactions. Like I, ugh. And I actually You had to psych yourself up for that scene. You were really not feeling good about that being in the script. And I remember we did these scenes much later and I had actually shaved my beard to look like that since we did the first part of the movie and then we had to kind of bring it in so we acted like we shaved it. And rem- <laughs> remember we had to draw in my beard so it looked like I still had it for some of the scenes. You got warm by the fire there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's just exotic fruit on the chair. And... Yeah, this is all in the Ku Temple on uh, Illinois Street in Utah. And there's some weird fruit. And, and I'm trying to <laughs> impress Moxie here. Oh, I love the music here, too. Yeah, I would, ima- I would imagine if there's more of a budget that there'd be maybe musicians playing in the background you know there's a house band playing for this date <laughs> this is the court music you know <laughs> didn't you do this though and then you're gonna you're gonna show 
show I have as potato. You're gonna show it, and it's a potato from my from my pants. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna try to break so it. So this is you're gonna you're gonna really this is this is what's gonna make the the date really. I look like Mario from you right. know, from the you know from Mario Brothers. Yeah, Mario Brothers there a little bit. I'm trying to break that potato. Oh, can't do it. I'm on my knees. Look at that. Ta even that tablecloth is fancy. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Melanympha did a great job setting that scene up in her living room. And then she just grabs oh, a potato no, out of my can't hand. can't even break it. I don't think I could break a potato, that's for sure. I think we pre-broke it. You actually... <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty nice cut. Uh -huh. <laughs> And now I'm like I have so, the, I'm Moxie who executed you in that re mysterious realm. I guess is now now she's proven she's revealed she's to be the manager who fired you as well. No, it's a manager, <laughs> and you and turned now, into you're basically the potato here, right? I mean, I think I'm just gone. <laughs> I don't know what happened I to you. I turned into the horse, and the horse died, and that was, and the horse turned into burlap sack, and and I'm in, in and maybe now this is like the real zone. I don't really know. I don't I mean, really know it, either. It's very. Uh, is this all a dream? Dreamlike, I guess. Yeah, like, but it's 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 a, a you know, you're in this Bat mental tub. nightmare. Yeah, it looks like I'm in. It almost seems like the nightmare starts at the beginning, like when we're under the plastic. Like that's the bizarre way for us to be at rest when we're in hibernation. That's true. All this time we are in hibernation, and we. But this does kind of feel like uh, the end of the road for you here. Yeah, I, I think this does seem like the real hell. Yeah, I'm in like some cesspool of potato water, and I'm being plummeted oh. by potato pieces by all these strangers. And uh, I dream, it looks like, or I'm dying. <laughs> and now and I'm... The strangers are you, they're like you interacting with yourself. And I'm showing the potato. <laughs> but I have a potato. Potato. Maybe this just loops in on itself like a, you know, a, uh, a snake biting its tail. I don't know. It's Zone G is a very mysterious place. Probably a place that no one yeah. No one should visit more than once. That was a great flick. I remember <sighs> doing that. I was very excited about it. And even many years later, I still think it's great. So, now I got top Filipino singers that prove the world what we something and it's Sean Hanley or something. Oh man. I've got somebody talking about like um, training for like a, some kind of fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was really a fun viewing, uh, Mr. Twickler, Tickler, Tickler Twin, Rick. <laughs>